Okay, hi, this is Akimichi X3 with another MMV tutorial. Um, this time I will be teaching you some helpful tips that will make your MMV look, um, or pro, I guess. It will just give it more of a pop. Um, yeah, so the first thing I will be showing you is parent chats. And I guess you can call it zooming in and out of more than one layer. Okay, so this is how you do it. Um, on your layers, there will, you'll see like some arrows with like little rectangles, either on top or on bottom. Um, to merge your layers, I will call it, you will just simply just click the arrow, and if you work with track motion like me, you will see this little track motion button. It will be called parent motion if you roll your mouse over it. You will click it and it will look like a box instead of a rectangle. See, so check motion for layer, check motion for this. Okay. And if you're going to work with parent motion, make sure that your scene isn't entirely zoomed in. Like, make it smaller than you initially wanted. Okay, because I will show you what will happen. So, let's say I want it tilted see like how everything tilts but then like all these black like all this black stuff happens so yeah okay you restore rotation okay remember so like just remember to make it like bigger or like smaller or you know what I mean than you really want it okay so like I want to focus on a space I'll just say okay and I want it tilted There, now it gives like a better, um, I don't know, like an image to it. Um, and let's say I want it to move. Make sure your lock is on. And you will press the add keyframe button. Okay. And now just use your arrow keys to move it however, wherever you want. Or you can like make it to where like it zooms in or something. So this is what it looks like. The scene moves, and yeah, I pretty much abuse that. Um, you will see it pretty much in every video that I make. I will, yeah, I pretty much abuse that. So that is how you do it. Mm, I see a lot of people wondering how to do that, so I decided to make a tutorial on it. And another thing that will help your video stand out is color gradient. Okay, I will show you that too. Okay, insert video track. Um, most of the time, I do not want it combined with my parent track, um, because you will see what happens. Okay, you will go to your meta generators and click color, color gradient. I'm sorry, I started. Okay, um, I normally work with this one, the linear red, green, blue. Okay, um, go to the near top of your image, almost to where it's like right there. Um, um something will appear that says opacity um that means like the transparency um drag it down to however transparent you want i normally leave it for like 30 31 35 but if you want it to like pop out more like 50 or something you free like feel free to do that um i'm not forcing you to do any certain way um there's like a bunch of ways okay so i'll just pretend it's like a sunset scene or something so I will add a yellow and as you can see like it's transparent so like it isn't like solid color like it just just blow you in the face and like covers him. Okay, yeah, see like how just like add some color so like your scene isn't so bland. Okay, um I will add the middle one to orange. Uh, more like a deep orange. And maybe drag this one down a little and maybe add it to like, I don't know, something darker. No. Yeah, let's just add it to like purple or something. Um. Okay, see. Um. See how it looks without the color gradient, and this is what it looks like after the color gradient. See how it adds like more of a. Uh, just makes it pop out more. It isn't like so plain. So this is what your scene will look like. Mm -hmm. And. Yeah, 
if you use your parent motion along with your color gradient, it will just zoom it'll zoom in like on one of the middle colors. Like all you'll see is probably orange. So I suggest you do your parent stuff and then you add your color gradient. Um and make sure you get your like time right because don't add like this kind of color gradient in like if you're doing a night scene, you know. Um, if you're doing a night scene, do something like a deep blue, or like, if there's like a lamp or something right here, do like, a light orange to make like, lights pouring out. Yeah. Okay. So, I hope that helped.